things preserve what preserve the preservatives Bum, bum, bum. 
if I don't look at it, maybe it'll heat up faster. There is nothing inside me right now. I'm so hungry I could die. You're gonna help me. You're not gonna kill me. How many of these have I eaten? One, two, three, four. I've already lost count. Oh my god, it's the most bored I've ever been. Water, hot water. <laughs> Just stand here forever. Come on, come on. There's a lot going on in there. There's a lot going on in here. This fucking cup of water. It's exploding in there. What bullshit. Fucking bullshit. Bullshit. All of eating, all of this eating is bullshit. Everybody's eating bullshit. All these fucking bubbles have to get up and can blow up, get the fuck out. Infinite fucking little universe is blowing up with sweaty fat. Fucking motherfucking couch fucker Cheeto motherfucking Cheetos children children fucking die in fire and these motherfucking couch fuckers eating fucking Cheetos all day long. I'm gonna be the fucking Cheeto that chokes them in their fucking throat, chokes them in their fat fucking throat. Motherfuckers grab their fat fucking throat, the Cheeto and the fucking motherfucking tell their fucking Oh, it's done. Ow, ow, ow. Success. This is good. doesn't even work. This 
so many pages. There's so many. So many pages, I don't know where to start. Um, um, okay. He, he knows I need a pen. I need a pen. Um, where's the pen? Where is that big pen? Where's the, where's that pen? Where's that big pep? Okay, it's right there. It's right in front of you. Um, is that the, no, that was a shit. That was a bad idea. I'm not. The script is, um, it's going really well. Yeah. No, oh, well, that's really sweet. No, yeah, I can't sleep either. I did. Okay, Mama. Okay. Love you. I love you too. Bye. <sighs> she loves you so much.
flashing in my mind. Like magic, I can just, I can just press that button and the script would be done. Boop, boop, boop. Losing my mind. I'll find it. I gotta get out of here. I gotta get out of here. I have got to get out of here. Too many distractions. I need to get out of here. Stand up, walk around, get the blood flowing, get the blood moving, get out, get out of here. It's harder to do this in the dark. Okay. Wrap it up. One, two, three. Untie the shoe. Then you tie the shoe. Then you have the shoe on. One shoe. Tied next up. Right foot. One lace. Two lace. Never seen. Down in the space, and the shoes on. And song doesn't make sense. What do I need? I need a coat. Don't want to catch a cold. It's a little chilly out. So put on a coat. Put on my body clothes. Put on my finger clothes. Okay. Does this even fit anymore? Still fits like a glove. Imagine that. Where's my phone? Where's my phone? Okay. All right, I'm ready to go accept the headphones. Left ear, right ear, dump, dump, bump. Uh, plug it in, plug it in. Okay. And what? Mom. Uh, lights off. Door. Still texting me. 
Doors locked. Okay. Mm. Good job on all the progress. What progress? I thought it's called out. is just as down and he is just as lost but that's not enough that's not enough oh, look at this guy he's gonna let me out okay title of this to start somewhere. Okay, what was that thing I learned in improv class? Brainstorming game. Watch it, okay. Fork in his life. He can do anything, but does nothing. Nothing is something. No, I guess I'm not doing nothing. Whatever he does, it should be simple and beautiful. That's good art. Simple and beautiful. Not complicated and ugly. Maybe that's why I like it. I should write a whole screenplay with nothing on it. Blank. Like that silent symphony. And they'll say, oh, very neo realist. The audiences search for nothing. Because sometimes if you don't search, the answers will find you. Salvation. What's the point of telling them nothing if they won't use it? You can't just give them the gift of nothing. All they want are things. All they want is to be a celebrity. Maybe he can become famous. That's good. I should write that down. Um, in a twist of fate. A simple, heroic moment. A simple, heroic moment makes him a YouTube star. And that gets him on a talk show, which gets him a movie deal, which gets him everything with the caveat that he plays the lead. Five years later, boom, he is the talk of the town. Mansions, pool parties, all of the women and money a man could want, beloved by all. That could be good because isn't the root of everything love? Almost all songs revolve around it, probably one of the biggest motivators for anything. I guess because it instills hope, like, like God or something. 
I don't know. Overrated. Overdone. Screw it, that idea is dumb and cliche. I should be avoiding dumb and cliche. Like Hitchcock. You didn't become a writer to be average. You didn't become a writer to be average and make a little bit of money like all the other drones appealing to the lowest denominator. I need to be original. Love is not original. Love is stupid. It builds you up just so it can knock you down. Happiness is at the root of sadness and depression, so... Somebody's up. Just a few little windows lit up. I wonder if they can't sleep or if they don't want to. I don't even know which one applies to me. Wood. Lincoln Logs. People walling off their yards. People used to keep them open. So they could say hey to someone walking by. Just a friendly neighbor. Power in a box. We keep everything in boxes, don't we? especially people. All those glittering lights. All the lights pop out in the dark. I like the black patches between these lights. <sighs> what if the character becomes a boxer? Like a professional boxer. So from starting out as a passive guy, he finally hits back. The bag becomes the glove. The whole movie becomes a ripoff of Rocky. Rocky made a lot of money. People like it. Boxing is very aggressive. A safe way for audiences to get their internal aggressions out without hurting anyone. I would be doing the world a service. Maybe I could win a Nobel Peace Prize. Yes. I could be on the same level as Einstein or Tesla or Elon Musk. He's an innovator. Innovation. This, this guy, this character should be someone who innovates. What if he becomes a scientist or a physicist? His life will be dictated by facts, not fiction. He can Get a job at NASA where he can study the particles of life. Maybe even unravel and fully understand the God particle. The Higgs boson. And from his research he could discover that the Higgs boson's famous 
vacuum bubble that can destroy the universe is nothing but a farce. People will love his optimism. People will love his optimism. One will say, oh yeah, science is cool and scientists are sexy. Screw religion, science is religion. There is no God. We live one life. After we're born, we know we will someday die. So what's the point? Why should, why should we keep fighting on it? There's no hope. We should just cleanse it. That's the only thing in this world that makes sense. Maybe he becomes like me, a self-hating writer. You have to write what you know, you know? You know, you know? You have to, you have to write what you know, you know, you know? You know, you know, you know, you know, you know, no, 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 screw that. for these lights, so... I better use them. They're using me. But the lights need them, too. They have no use during the day. The sun monopolizes everything. The fuel for the fire and the thing that puts it out. It's a contradiction. You could win the lottery maybe discover a new invention and make millions. All his problems and drama from the suffering beginning will disappear. Because money solves everything, right? Right? Happiness comes from the security of wealth and success. That's just the reality of the society we live in. To see an ending where the character, aka me, becomes rich, fulfilling all the wishes of his family. Everyone dies happy. Is there a bow I can wrap around this ending? Maybe he can become a butcher. Yes, a butcher is so dark. It's such a disturbing place to work, but he can be the one good one who whistles a nice tune while he slits the throats of the lambs. 
uh, like an uh, opposite world of the dwarves in Snow White. People need to eat because he chose such a powerful and deserving career. He becomes a man. A real man who has a wife that he loves and who loves him. Yeah. His hands run red with blood as her eyes run red with passion. <laughs> this is good. Is that too happy? This is why people live as far away from the road as possible. All this buzzing, and whirring. They don't care. Ah, oh, it's noisy. energy every single night none of them ever shut off until the sun says it's okay most amazing high Everybody is just a drum making the same sound, making the same move. And the big old man points in a direction and they all go that way. And he laughs at them and points in another direction. Some panic, some disagree, some die, most don't care, they just keep doing what he says. They just keep doing what they say. Everybody's told how to live. Nobody knows how. They have to be told. This is your whole universe. You all think you're so important.
These cars are driving so fast. Mm. He's gonna die. He's gonna die young. Idiot. Why are so many cars out? Go to sleep. Go home. I came out to get away, not to join you. All of these cars will be driving themselves. And people really won't know where they're going. They really need to trim this. Maybe the tree is just... trying to reach out and touch me. It's a pretty thick bush. This path is rock. Rocks all crammed together. Why is this here? Caution, don't walk in the walking space. People can't tell me where to go. A sign's not gonna... Tell me... Where to go? I don't even need to get off of this road. Left is the hospital. Right is the park. Uh -huh. Something is always better than nothing, or so I'm told. Just, why can't you just finish what you start? Now we're getting into nature. Maybe he can become his total opposite. A clown. He's so sad on the inside. Obviously he would want to become a lovable clown. Happy all the time, hands out stale. Tootsie rolls to all the little rug rats, little candy poops, puts on a show for their birthdays. The best and worst day of the year. It's very important. He is important, even even though he won't he won't make a lot of money. You know, ends up living in a dirty old trailer that he parks near jobs. A mobile home, a mobile life, true freedom, and because he's a clown, no one expects greatness. The bar is so low that anything he does successfully is amazing. He is finally validated. All the character wanted from the beginning, just a little validation. Yes, this is it. This is his fate. Do you think I have a god complex? Well, let me tell you something. 
I am God. Clowns are scary. The less I have to think about clowns, the better. They paint lies on their faces. Audiences don't connect with lawyers. Um, liars. Scrap it. Well, that's it. I have no more ideas. Someone could so easily pop out and stab me to death. It'd be exciting. It'd be easy. Bring it on. Come out from right behind me, grab my face, slip my throat, and pull me off to the side. No one would hear it, and they'd finish the job. Hey, little gang. Real tough. This is their alone time. Sorry to intrude. God, I'm stupid. Coming out here alone. Maybe I should just give up. I mean, I am the worst. I've established that. I'm ugly. There's no love for me. I've got stupid fucking ears. Dumb, thin lips. Dull lips. Five dollar haircut, not the good kind. I can't even grow facial hair. Got a stupid forehead. My eyes are like worms. Beady little eyes. I'm just a wimp. Shrimpy, wimpy. Dork. I am going nowhere. Can't write a screenplay. I'm so alone. Terribly, dreadfully alone. Tragically, even. There's nothing in my head. I'm not talented. I'm not something. I'm nothing. 
I can't even think of an idea. Something that I'm constantly doing or or not doing. I feel nothing. I am worth nothing. I am nothing. I have nothing to give. I'm, I'm worse than nothing. If I was dead, I could be of use. Maybe I should donate my body to a lab. It's just a bag of blood. They can run tests and maybe they'll find something, something I didn't find to help other people. At least nothing doesn't use up something. It doesn't waste resources. So if I'm only taking and giving nothing, then what is the point of being here. I'm just done. I'm giving up.
she wouldn't do that, Noah. Kill yourself. Kill yourself. Kill yourself. You don't even have the balls. This is a bad movie. That's all it is. Your life is a bad movie. Just walk out of the theater. Get up and go. No one will blame you. Every week you get depressed. Revolving door of nothing. It's really wonderful. Beautiful. Everything. It's the moon. It's the sun. The moon doesn't care about you. Fuck you. Well, somebody's gotta care. I can't just throw what I love in the trash. Life is trash. It's all going in the trash. No. Your life's in the trash. That's right. Trash. My life's in the trash. I'm confused. I need to think. I just... No. No. Oh. This is my... Can maybe go with... No. Uh, it's real. You don't register. I just need to... You've been down this street before. How, how, how? You know where it goes. How? Come it's on, almost you over. Stop. Need to stop. Can you feel it? This dream now? Yeah. yeah. But why? But how? I'll show you. Goodbye, world. Goodbye, safety color. Goodbye. Count the lines. Don't count the lines. Everybody else will search average and make a little bit of money. Like all the other rich kids. Everyone's moving slow. It's like, we're like God Almost there. Nothing. Expire. Because sometimes if you don't search, you can even unravel and fully understand the famous. What's the point of the lovable clown? Happy all the time, hands out stale. Tootsie rolls to all the little rug rats, little candy poops, puts on a show for their birthdays. Happiness is the root. Happiness is the root of lawyers, um, uh, liars. But whatever he does, it should be what you know, you know? You know? You know? You know? No, 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 screw that. 
all his problems and drama from the suffering beginning of anything. I should write a whole passive guy he finally hits back in a twist of drones appealing to the lowest denominator. Very neorealist. You can't just give them knock you down. That could be good because isn't the root of everything a scientist or a physicist? Screw it, that idea is dumb and cliche. I should be avoiding simple and beautiful. That's good art. Maybe that's why telling them nothing if they won't use it. The bag becomes the fort of his life. And this would totally be a great idea, except I think clowns are having their internal aggressions out without hurting anyone. Overrated. Overdone.
plus A care. If I don't care, then yes. I won't have anything to crit. Please.
Hi, I'm director Jeff Grossman. And when I set out to make my first film, I knew it had to be special and a reflection of what it feels like to go through with an idea. What you're about to see is an attempt to capture and exaggerate those anxieties in hope to shed light on the darkness we all hold inside.